Hello everybody, Logan K here, back for another video, and uh, this time we are playing Dwarves vs. Zombies. This is a uh, bit of an old game. Uh, it's been around for quite a while when uh, it was started by Rurikar22 on Twitch. Every Friday night, uh, Dwarves vs. Zombies will be played. In my opinion, that was the best version the old, old version, but, uh, so we're playing one of the new versions now, and it's on an automatic server, so it's not incredible, and the people don't exactly build nice-looking keeps, but it's pretty fun still. So, uh, we're gonna, s we're builders here, so gotta start building up this whole huge, huge, well, going to be huge keep, and, uh, it's already going along quite well, so let's see how it goes. So basically, as a builder, what I just have to do is I hold my book in my hand, I left click, and it gives me blocks. So I just place these blocks, and then eventually I get different rewards for placing blocks, such as uh, enchanted books so that I can enchant my armor, and also I can enchant my armor at an enchanting table, as well as I can open the nexus when I build four, no, not four hundred, four hundreds to open is to enchant your items. A uh, hundred and twenty, I believe, maybe, I don't know, uh, to open the nexus, and the nexus is where you get all your items from, pretty much. So, um, we just keep building here. The goal is to make this with thick, sturdy walls so that it's harder for monsters to break through. Weapons and Nexus. Can I open the Nexus? No, I need 41 more bricks. Oh, well. So, I'm just going to sit around here near the Nexus, and as soon as the monsters break six enchantment tables, I believe it is, then the round is over and we start again. Um, so, I'm just going to thicken up these walls here so that way they have a bit of a harder time getting through to the Nexus. Uh, although, Creeper Blast probably could open it right up again. But I'm just going to make this nice and thick right here. And uh, as soon as we're able to open the Nexus, we'll do that. Now you can see a bunch of different colored houses all over the place as well. Uh, those are for the different classes. The Alchemists are in the Lapis Houses. And the builders, not the builders, sorry. Um, the. Dang, I can't even remember anything now. 21 more bricks, I just placed a whole stack. Yeah, because those were stairs, that's probably it. Oh well. Um, the nether brick houses are blacksmiths, and the. Brick houses are bakers. All of them play important roles. The tailor makes armor, the blacksmiths make weapons, and then the alchemists make potions, and the baker makes food, obviously. Um, so, let's get on with this. Really, all that we need to do is build this up to immense proportions. So, you can see it's already getting, it's already get dark in here, and there we go. That's one of my first reward books, Loco Cat's Reward. And I can use an anvil to put that on, say, a pair of boots. So I can also open up the Nexus here now, which contains items. Not very much in here right now. Um, but some stuff will come up later. Ah, uh, bows, arrows, etc. So I'm probably just going to speed the rest of this up here until the keep is done being built. And then we can get to the exciting part. See you in a minute.
just spawned in. And I don't think we're actually going to get there in time to actually kill the wither or anything. But see crazy stuff is happening. Um there you go guy, I'm sorry about that. And uh what else? I forgot about potions. I entirely forgot that I needed potions. Ah uh, well. great if we get unbreaking on anything, but oh well. Um, I'll take those. Those are better than a potion. Uh, so let's get our inventory organized here. Hunger wand, nexus, we don't really need, but we're going to keep that on the bar anyways. Put all that next to the fire wand. And as you can see, it tells you Right underneath it, I uh, ignites nearby monsters, makes nearby monsters hungry. Then this, I have a power four bow by combining a ton of power ones bows, and then I have this from an enchanting one, and then combining it with one of my enchant books. So, uh, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Can't really get rid of that. We can get rid of one of those. Don't want to get rid of the rest though, in case we need more blocks. Get rid of that, get rid of that, and get rid of that. Keep the arrows naturally. And now we'll go out and engage the monsters in battle. Now the difference between uh, DDZ and normal Minecraft is that the monsters are actually people. Using the plugin Mob Disguise, I believe it originally used, and magic spells together. The monsters are controlled by people. Uh, let's see, we need some blocks here to block this off. And crap, that can't go there. Perfect. Um, actually, I think we may be able to spawn in uh, super bricks, whatever they are. Alright, now we can. We can, because we have those stupid bricks in the inventory. So, let's see. If we left click with right click with the fire wand, nothing happens because you have to left click it because of the magic spells plugin that uses about 20 mana. There's a hole there, I'm not sure if that one should be there. There's a hole there too that probably shouldn't be there. And the hunger wand uses, holy crap, 60 mana. So we probably won't be using the hunger wand. <laughs> are yelling about breaking blocks above the spawn. Oh well, that's their fault. So... Probably should just leave them to die, but oh well. Um, oh, that's why, it's because they spawned on the baker. Alright, guy. Make a staircase. Oh, there's an enderman over there. Crap. Get him. Oh well. Somebody else will deal with him eventually. There we go, a dwarf has died. Everybody calm down. That happens every single every single time I've played this so far. Somebody says everybody calm down. So, uh, these are 
the special golden apples. I have my trusty pickaxe here, which I stole from the Nexus. And so let's go on a mob, a person mob hunting adventure. Is there anything good in the Nexus, first of all? Sharpness 1. There are potions. There's water bottles. Yeah, that's a bunch of use, though. Um, potions are pretty OP because you can left click it rather than right click it and it has unlimited use so you can just left click it over and over again it uses mana which is your experience level down here and uh that and also it shoots at a snowball which can and the snowball can um what am i trying to say i don't know what i'm trying to say anymore <laughs> just lost myself. Uh, that's in the wrong order, two. Bow is three, sword is two. And what basically happens is then whoever the snowball hits gets buffed as well. That's pretty much it. <laughs> thing to do here would be to get on vines and climb up because that's way too close to the monster spawn. I'm gonna die there. Um. Oh yes, thanks spider. Make these all easy shots. That is one of the horrible, horrible downsides. It seems that whenever an enchantment table is broken, or a bit of the shrine is broken, uh... Ooh, there's a lot of people up there. Um, let's see if we can go help them. Oh no, you know what? Watch. When I try to break this, it tells me I can't because another class placed it. Crap. Oh, phew. There's a way out. <laughs> um, so, what I think happened is the baker who was set up up here, some people tried to teleport to spawn and got trapped in here. Poor guys. y'all. So uh, that was a stroke of good luck. Thank you to the chicken. And let's just mine through this wall quickly. And pop some blocks in the bar. Let's use these because they're the closest to the shrine ones. 
Jesus. There we go. Let's get this back on the bar. Just whacked my mic. Sorry, everybody. I don't think I'll actually be using the hunger wand. I don't use wands a whole lot. So I'll just take that off the bar. Let's see. But yeah. This recording, this this file is probably gonna be like several, several gigs. Skeleton. <laughs> Here we go, use the fire wand. And then the witch got me. Crap. Skeletons get the skeletons. I fell. also have a very high level blast protection enchant on their armor. What's all this extra crap doing in inventory? So let's see if we can knock him off. Because if you, we get near him, he'll just knock us straight off. There we go. 